you motivated this team. I mean, you had to guide them. Uh, we had know, to build the team. Yeah, we build a team, uh, motivate it, guide them, mm -hmm. deal with them. You know, we we we've interviewed just lots and lots of people from the mm -hmm. Macintosh team, Good. and and uh, and you know what it keeps coming down to is is your passion, your vision, and and you know how do you order your priorities in there? What what what's important to you in the development of a product? You know, one of the things that really hurt Apple was after I left, John Scully got a very serious disease. And that disease, I've seen other people get it too, it's, um, it's the disease of thinking that a really great idea is 90% of the work. And that if you just tell your, all these other people, you know, here's this great idea, then, of course, they can go off and make it happen. And the problem with that is, is that there's a, just a tremendous amount of craftsmanship in, in between a great idea and a great product. And as you evolve that great idea, it changes and grows. It never comes out like it starts, because you learn a lot more as you get into the subtleties of it. And you also find there's tremendous trade-offs that you have to make. I mean, you know, there are, there are just certain things you you can't make electrons do. There are certain things you can't make plastic do or glass do. And, and, and as you get into, or factories do, or robots do. And as you get into all these things, designing a product is keeping 5,000 things in your brain, these concepts, and fit, fitting them all together in, in, in kind of continuing to push to fit them together in new and different ways to get what you want. And every day you discover something new that is a new problem or a new opportunity to fit these things together a little differently. And it's that process that is the magic. 